Um, good evening, guys. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. For us, it's back to back to work again. So basically, I'm doing a weekly analysis um, for 10th of March 2019, just for weekly head, um, for weekly um, analysis. So let's see what is actually happening with the the pay that I pays that I usually trade. EURUSD is one of them. So let's start with EURUSD. So this is EURUSD on daily. So what we had a uh, well, we had a great trade on um, EURUSD. And um, we took out quite a few positions. We had just, um, every time we took it, um, we did had a successful trade. So let's hope this continues. We had a great, great year up to now, great month up to now. We just want to build onto that and continue. No rush. We're just going to take it easy first few days of the week, and let's see how the market react, and then we'll be taking our trades. So let's do the marking up. So I already <clears throat> done a mark up here. Um, in fact, that was from last week. Um, so this is the area, I mean, that was one of my target for sell, which we got to there um, last week, but I, I did book my profit too early. Um, but those things, as long as you're not losing, as long as you're making profit, that's all it matters. So it did get to there, and that's where I was expecting to be some buying pressure, but market didn't look back. It actually broke through this level that I was looking at. So now that market dropped below one, one, um, one, one, yeah, market took out 1200, 112. And actually the press closed, but the following day, market um, well, tried to reverse. But when I'm looking at it, it still looks as it's actually closed below this um, resistance level. That is something that we'll find out uh, Monday or Tuesday, if it is or not. And if this is correct, breakout, and this is a failed test, <clears throat> then we're gonna see continued downwards move. Or we're gonna see come back, do a <clears throat> pullback, possibly back test this, and then we'll probably see this move here. And this is where I'm more interested to sell again. This is this area would be would be my area to sell again. Anywhere around th back to 13, 113, or 11, to eight area, just basically this area here. This is the area that I'll be looking to go short again because this trend line here, it's respected. And every time it touched there, I did sell it. And every time I sold it, it, it worked out very well. So until I see um, <clears throat> this trend line to press break out of this, then I'll be looking for, um, maybe possibly looking for buys and um, different setup. But until below this trend line, until it's respecting this trend line, I will be keep selling it on the trend line. So anywhere around here, that's why I'll be looking to short again. Um, and the buy would be for me is above 14. That is the level that I'm looking to buy. Alternatively, um, the plan is to sell on rally. So every time, even, even on Friday, I sold it on rally. Um, although the market closed just above my entry, but um, I sold it. So it's, at the moment, it's safer to sell on rally. So this is the area that I will be focusing this week, anywhere around this area, which is 13, anywhere around 113, um, 112845, sorry, 111285. So any area, this area there, main focus is this trend line. It's been respecting. Um, <clears throat> let's see how long this trend line holds. Until it breaks out, we'll change our trade setup. So now, for this coming week is same, same as last two weeks, selling on rally. So again, we'll be selling on rally. And now that we'll find out Monday, Tuesday, if this is a, if this is a correct breakout, if it is, next move I'll be expecting towards here, which is 108. 108 is the target level for selling now. Um, we'll be selling on rally. So this is my view on EURUSD, is this is the area to focus, and this is the target next target level because I do believe this is actually a breakout. Um, it was confirmed, but the next day it was a very strong bullish move that is due to um, supported by Brexit. So that is one of the things that we have to watch out for. Um, otherwise, this oh, I did not even expect Euro to even do a pullback until get to maybe 11, 111, maybe 11. Zero 09, those are the areas that I was looking at. But next day, it did 
quite a strong bullish move. So that is something that we need to watch out for. So selling, I already got a sell, sell as well. I took a small 30 pips stop loss and sold again. Um, but market closed just at entry. But um, I still got it. Um, let's see how that um, on the market open. I am expecting a small gap on the market on euros, <coughs> sorry, uh, USD pairs, um, especially Euro USD. So let's see which way that my um, gap open up with. Um, we could see market around here again when the market open up. Um, but we could see higher up as well. So let's see which way the, um, the gap open up. I am expecting a bit of gap because there is some um, USD news during the weekend. Also Brexit. I don't know if there's anything actually taking place. So this is a good possibility of um, uh, um, gap in the market. So just watch out for this, guys. And that's my view on Euro USD. And um, this is um, gold on daily. Um, gold, um, it is following um, the, uh, my analysis. So I am sticking to the same plan. Um, so basically, right now, it's done a pullback that which I was expecting, and we did take a trade. And how many pips we got? Um, we entered at 85. So we entered here. We got the full candle. That is pretty much 130 pips, 140 pips. 140 pips. Is it? And we took about we took a 35, 40 pips stop. So it was a very good trade actually. End up with a very good trade. So now that we got the pullback, and one thing that we have to watch out for is it's the pullback took place and closed with that engulf candle. So that is a, that is something to be considered. Um, to go short, um, but I have taken that short because I had an order set at 13, one on 13, and I got this move, that small move, which is I think about 30 pips I got to, then market was trying to reverse again. So it's still strong downwards. There's nothing else indicating is, is, is buy right now. And we could buy we could look to buy again maybe back to here again same same entry probably see a pullback but i am more towards sell on, on gold sell on rally so that is still the same same setup for the last whole whole month so now that pullback took place we're just going to be we already got a um, sell order here the reason for that is as i said this breakout it went back to retest this area here failed we possibly see another test again and we see another fail, then we'll be a bit more confirmation, more towards the downside. So right now is 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 showing signs of possible go back and test this area here, or even back to there, because of that candle, it's an engulfed candle. So this is something that we have to watch out for this candle here. So even with that in mind, when you're taking our short position, um, the areas that we should be looking to short, we did take a short position here. The stop is pretty much. Not, not, not even there. It was 30 pips stop I took. So stop was there just above this um, this um, support, uh, resistance, sorry. So we did got a, th this pullback. Um, let's see what happened on, um, when the market opens. So if it respects this, then I'll be expecting this move here. So that is the next move for gold. The longest price, still, this is the move I'm expecting. And if it closes above, uh, maybe Monday, Tuesday, then we'll probably see back test this level here or even back to all the way there so that is something that we need to consider but longer as respecting my trend line here i'll be looking to go short so my i already sold it at 13 next short area i'll be looking at is 1309 so around this area i'll be looking to go short again and um, this stop is just going to be 30 to 40 pips no more then i'll be sitting there after this i won't be taking short position i'll be waiting to see if the market get to here or back test all the way to the top. This is something that we need to watch out for. But my ultimate target is, even if it's there, up here. If it's from here, it's still up here. So my target is there. This is the target I'm looking to see. Sooner or later, we're gonna see this price. That's that's my view on gold. So let's see um, if there's any, um, I mean, most of you guys probably already on gold short. So let's see how, what happened when the market open up. And based on that, we'll take our position. So, as you say, as you can see, my target is to towards the downside. My view is toward the downside. So let's see what happens when the market opens. All right. And um, this is USDJPY, which is our, one of our good trade last week. Um, <clears throat> now, it's still respecting this um, trend line. So we have to wait and see. Still, my view is on um, 
the target is final target. I still didn't, don't think it's touch final target, did it? No, it didn't. But I was targeting around um, 10, 110. So still didn't, uh, still didn't, market didn't come to around this area. And <clears throat> my, st my view is still towards sell um, USD JPY. Um, on four, four hourly, it's showing a pullback to place on fr late Friday. It's nothing indicating is towards buy as yet. Okay, so this one, we sold it here. This is our entry and we got this move. That's pretty much um, over 100 pips. So that was a good trade. Um, the risk we took is 25 pips. And so that was, a, that was a fantastic trade last week. So we're gonna continue with this. But right now, I like to see market, um, possibly another pullback, clear pullback. This is not, I'm not really convinced with that pullback. I don't think the market is just gonna drop here. Um, I would like to sell it, possibly back test here. Um, well, definitely I'll be selling it here. This is the area that I will be definitely selling. Um, even here, we might see up to there and then coming back here. And if we get through this, next move is here. So that is the area that we should be focusing on. We get through this area. So that is the area that we should be focusing on. Bounce here, we possibly see the test back there, or possibly there. So th this area, this is, the, uh, this is a significant area that we should be focusing on, which is um, around 11.86, which is our entry, the last week entry. So this area, we're looking to show, even here, depends how this, maybe Monday, Tuesday, I have to see if it's a pullback or possibly a reversal. At the moment, it looks as a pullback so far. But I'll be more than happy to sell it there, which means the stop is just above here. Sell it, target here, and then watch out for this area. Break through there, we'll be targeting 109. So that is the setup for me for um, next week. Sell it on rally again. I'll be looking to sell this one on rally as well until take out this level here, which is um, around there. This area, which is 12. Until it takes out of this, I am towards sell. I'll be selling on rally. My, always my stop is going to be around there, 12.15. I'll be selling it. And I'll be targeting 110, then 119. So those are the target levels. And this is what we should be watching out for. This is a daily trend line. So market did bounce three, four times here. Next time it could do the same again. And break through it, and we'll see this move. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to sell around here and target there. Uh, we just basically, the plan is to sell it on running until the price get above 12, um, 12 one, one, two. Then we'll be looking for a different setup. Until that, setup is the same setup. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Um, so that's all for me. And um, these are those are the main ones that I'm going to focus on this week. And if I see any other setups, then I'll be taking it. But mainly, I'll be focusing on them ones. Um, GP, GBP is the one that is just going to move with the fundamental. And we're going to watch out for what is Brexit. What is it? Two weeks left. We're going to find what is actually happening with um, GBP. Right now, any short term opportunity, I'll be taking it. Otherwise, um, I'll just wait for next what two weeks. And then we'll get a better direction. It could just collapse or it could just rally. So we'll, we'll, we'll be ready. Um, if I say anything, then I'll send out signals. And we'll take it from there, guys. Right, thanks a lot.